If you're fairly new to Asana, then you're probably more familiar with the desktop version of the platform, but there are apps for Asana as well, whether you're an iOS user or an Android user. I happen to be an iOS user, and so what I've done is I've taken some time and just gone over the app at a really high level so you can see what you can do in the app, what you can't do in the app, and I think you'll be surprised as to some of the things that you can do in the app that you can't currently do on the desktop version. So again, this is a getting started. If you haven't used the app before, this is the perfect video for you. Let's jump in. Just because it's the way you've always done it, it doesn't mean it's the right way. It's time for change. Welcome to Asana Solutions. My name is Marquis, and you've landed on the number one channel on YouTube for all things related to Asana, process improvement, and project management. So again, there's so many things that you can do on the app. And honestly, even myself, sometimes I forget. Sometimes I wanna make a note, and I'm thinking, where should I put it? I go to Asana right away, and there's something there. They've added new functionality recently that makes it even easier, and they've increased the visibility and things that you can do on the app version versus the desktop version. So stick around. If you see something that I missed or something you have a question on, leave a comment. I love answering comments. Send me an email, whatever you wanna do. I'll always write back. But without much more further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. All right, so let's start off at the beginning. When you start off in the app, it's gonna bring you to your home page automatically. So this is where you're gonna see high level, um, what projects you have favorited, okay? Um, if you are using favorites for Teams on the desktop version, then you're not gonna see your Teams here, you're only gonna see your projects here. Um, so you'd have to switch the view or just search for the team that you want to. But you can come in here and you can see exactly what's happening. I can check my, my marketing calendar. Here's all of the different dates and things like that. And I can scroll through to see exactly what's happening. I can drill down and click on, you know, one day in particular. <clears throat> Any recent projects will also show up here. But what's nice is you can also view your portfolios. So we can see exactly what's happening in our portfolios and then drill down into the individual project as well. We can also take a look at our goals here. We can see the different um, client goals. If we just wanted to see what was happening uh, at Ditto, we could see those goals right there as well. So that's pretty much the home screen. Um, I'm going to go to my tasks next. I have this sorted by, by due date within my desktop, and this is how I like to look at it. And so all of your sections, you can open them and close them just like I did there. Apart from the this video, um, I've completed all my tasks for today. And so you're not really going to see anything there, but we can open these up as need be. Um, so you can see exactly what's going on here. We can sort by just incomplete tasks like we would inside of the desktop. We can switch our view here to the board view. And now we can see what's happening from a board perspective. We can switch to calendar view from here as well and reorder things as as we uh, need to. We can also take a look at our profile from this. This is really helpful if you do have any out of office time. Um, you can set that here to show yourself as away. You know, when you're gonna be away, you can join teams, you can join projects, all from this view. So let's go back to the list. This is the one that I like to use. Um, if we do need to multi-select and make a bunch of changes all at once, uh, we can click on this little you know, toggle up here, and then we can select all of these and we can make different um, setting changes. We can move them to a different section, change the date or assignee or add it to another project as well. So that's a really handy tool if you do wanna do some of these big changes on mobile. <clears throat> we can choose what fields we wanna be able to view in the My Tasks as well. So if we wanna show fields or hide them, um, the due dates, we can have those on or off and projects as well. What's nice, you can add sections here as well to your My Tasks. If you did want to, you can zoom out so you can get a bit more of the view. You can see your due dates and your projects now. I'll zoom back in so you can see the difference. So it just gives you a bit more to look at here. Let's zoom out again just so you can see what that looks like. What I love about this is you can quickly create tasks right from here. So this is task one. And if you do a quick swipe up, you can add your description 
right there. We can add it to another project if we want to. Right here, we can add our subtasks, really nice. We can upload images here as well. We can add files. Um, one thing that I do like, if we did want to scan, say, a photo or a business card, I don't have anything on my desk right now, <laughs> um, but if I did want to, I could take a picture of this water bottle not sponsored, right? And then it's gonna recognize and it's gonna upload in there. And it's actually taken some of the, the text from the, the water bottle itself. So that's really, really nice. If you again have business cards or at a networking event, you can quickly do that. One newer feature that they have is if you are on mobile and you hold down the plus button, it's gonna do something really cool. So it's gonna start an audio recording for you. So right now it's listening to me, it can hear me, this is my task, and then I'm gonna stop it. Um, it's created, it's gonna start an audio recording. So there it is. <laughs> um, so it's gonna start an audio recording, there we go, and that is the name of my task, right? So this could be anything, this could be walk the dog. There we go, and there's my new task. So if you're on the go, if you can't type, if you're driving and you shouldn't be using your phone anyways, um, but you can do that and qu create quick audio recordings. Let's hear it. Walk the dog. Walk the, can't hear it because I think I'm plugged in. But anyways, if I was on my desktop now, let's hear it here. Here's our audio recording. There we go. So if I did want to get more descriptive or just like do an audio recording to create a task for someone, that's the best way to do it if you want to add some instructions. So um, uh, the inbox is pretty standard. Um, it's, you can do all the same things you can do on desktop. You know, you're swiping to archive or, you know, swiping right for more. If you want to follow up on this task, mark is red or archive it again. But uh, let's see, I don't need that one right there. There we go. And yeah. Let's see what else is here. We can filter by stuff that, you know, I mentioned in. So there's my name. I mentioned in all those things. If I did want to create a message, I can do messages right from here as well. Um, and let's see, let's go back here quickly. Yeah, if you're in my task or the inbox, you're going to click on the little speech bubble up there. It's going to bring you to the messages module, which is nice. And then you can start messages right from here as well. You can send them to whoever you want to and then connect it to a project by simply um, adding that project. Again, the search is really, really good. Usually on mobile, if I'm searching for a team, like I said earlier, I want to go to the operations team. Um, I'm just going to search for that one right there. And then I'm going to see those projects within operations. And then, yeah, just your profile again. I can switch between all the spaces that I have access to. Um, and then update other settings here. So this is a really great um, app if you're just like kind of on the go and you want to, you know, clear out your inbox or respond to people and check in on things. It's really functional. It's really great. If you have any other questions, you can go to support in your account section and go to the iOS guide and it opens this up as well. So you can get um, a better understanding of how all the other functions of iOS or Android do work. But if you like this and found it helpful, Please let me know and share it with someone who you think would also get value from this. But until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.